All right, this is my e-bike. This is what I use to get around town. This is uh, a 2016 model. I've had this since 2016. So what? Uh, math hard for me. Public math, seven years now. It has the original battery, amazingly enough, and it still gets me about 22 miles an hour, and I'm about whoa, 200 pounder. So it is a good little bike I got. It is a rad rad power bike and it is the uh, rad rover model with the big fat tires the only big complaint is not on the bike is the tires the nubs it does wear out pretty quick so you, you know keep a couple in stock keep a keep some tubes in stock you may need it easy to change tires except on the rear because you have to remove the electronics to the hub to the motor so you just gotta take that off it's a, more of a pain to do a um a rear tire swap or tube tubes uh tube swap as well i have the battery pack off but the thing like i said is maintaining juice maintaining efficiency i get around town on this puppy bit worn out for my big butt but hey who cares right uh i got some it's got it's got the nice shocks on it which is pretty cool it's got the display and the pro tip on the display once the sun starts eating through this plastic like it's done here and gets all uh, hazy squirt some uh, silicone on it or yama shield which is just like a silicone and wipe it it just clears the whole screen up and it adds a layer of protection to it you got the speeds up here and you also have pedal assist which you can adjust here up to five i do that now and then but why pedal when you have a motor dude <laughs> that's the whole point of having an e-bike for me is having the motor uh here's the controller right here still holding up and what i do also with this bike I do spray that Yama Shield, which is used for mo outboard motors to protect uh, the electronics and components from corrosion and, you know, keep them all lubed up just the way I like to keep my wife. Um, yeah, so use Yama Shield, man. Go buy it. It's not that expensive. A can of Yama Shield spray it on stuff. I spray it on everything. And, and I also use a um, pressure cable lever. You step on the end and I just spray that Yama Shield right down through the housing of the cable to keep it from rusting because down where I'm at in Florida, it will uh, rust and your cable will snap. Uh, it's got disc brakes over here, right there. And on the front, it's got disc brakes, shocks. I got this nice little lock right here. Just folds up nicely and uh, ex uh, expands and collapses as needed. Uh, let's see, as the brakes are being applied and you're doing the throttle right here, if you have the brake on, the throttle will not work. There's a little electronics right here on the brake lever, which um, disengages the motor so you're not trying to accelerate while you're braking so which makes sense unless you're trying to do donuts or something like that uh let's see it got it's got it got it has a built-in light on it and what i did because people like to steal nice things i learned that over my life if you have something nice there's always some asshole out there who wants to take what isn't his from you so what do you do you uglify your bike and without actually damaging your bike other than my big butt destroying the seat Seats are expensive, so I didn't really change that out. I put duct tape on it. So anyway, it makes it look more ghetto. You know, more ghetto means someone's not likely to see, oh, shiny object, let's steal it. You have a nice, clean, shiny car, polished, detailed, or a bike. Someone's more likely to come by and just want to take it and make it theirs. And it's, it's just total shitheads, man. They are out there more than you realize. Um, so what I did, there's a thing called plastic dip. It's a spray can. And basically you spray anything with it. And I've done my truck too. You blacken it. I, I just got black and it blackens your, um, your, your object, whatever you want to do. You know, you spray your weenie too, if you want. <laughs> anyway, uh, see the bike was white and I just sprayed it on. You can see the plastic. It's just a nice coating and it actually protects the bike, but it just makes it look beat up and old. I put it, you know, not on, that's just grease, but I put it on the tires too, to make a zebra effect. Kind of like a camo. See that? These are just sprays, random sprays that may look dirty, used, beat up, something that nobody would want to steal. Again, somebody will steal anything. And this will peel off. Look, see, it'll peel off. If I want to take it off eventually, just get a, you know, wipe it off or peel it off. And then your bike's good as new, right? It's probably protected the original paint. Uh, seat goes up and down, obviously. Duh. Uh, pedals. Everything's nice on this bike. Again, the seat did get abused quite a bit. That's the big complaint. Sometimes the controller wasn't engaging when I was spinning it. So I just basically found out it was a contact thing. Again, Yama Shield is the miracle spray, man. I put some Yama Shield down there, cleaned out the contacts. This puppy's working great now. So buy Yama Shield. It's not a commercial for Yama Shield, but it is. I don't get any money for it. So Yamaha, if you're listening, Yama Shield. Uh, I got a little bar here I added. 
and it put a little blinky light on it, which is USB rechargeable. My recommendation for today's tip is buy everything that's USB-C and you can recharge without re removing the damn battery. Make life easy. No disposable batteries anymore. That's where they get you, man. Batteries are expensive. So USB-C charger. Uh, it's got the little bell. Want to hear the bell? Yay! And I have, oh, golf ball coming in. <laughs> you can get killed around here, golfers, man. Anyway, mirror right here. Hello! There's a mirror right here, and I put in the uh, end of the handlebar, inserted that, and tightened it down. Again, same things I do to my wife. Uh, good times. Anyway, there you go. Just wanted to show. Yeah, get some plastic dip. Here you can see the rad power bike. This will all come right off. It's just plastic spray, little coating. But again, I wanted to uglify the bike, camo it ghetto it and hopefully no one's going to steal it again i've had it for seven years so it may be working and it just looks tough now it looks like a just a just a i don't know hot rod <laughs> all right that is all i got uh yeah check out rad power bikes it's been good for me so long um can't complain and i think this price point was about a thousand eleven hundred ship from seattle all the way to the southeast so not too shabby and no complaints at all. All right, guys, that is all I have for the e-bike. Everyone's into e-bikes now. I was, I feel I was, I'm going to take credit. I was the early adopter. I was one of the few people in this town that had one. Now, years later, they put things that you can't go faster than 15 on the thigh box. Because some there are idiots who ruin it for everybody. And this is why we can't have nice things. You get jerks going down the sidewalk 25, 30 miles an hour. Idiots. Even on those stupid stand-up scooters. People are stupid, and they don't really physics to apply to them when a big let's say two-ton car or truck hits them they're gonna get splattered yeah i guess you learn the hard way all right thanks for watching guys i'm out we got a plane incoming boom